is John Clay, sports columnist for the Lexington Herald Leader, and I'm here today with my colleagues Mark Story, sports columnist of the Herald Leader, and Jerry Tipton, beat writer on Kentucky basketball. And Saturday, big game at Rupp Arena, Kentucky against North Carolina at noon on CBS. Kentucky's ranked number one, North Carolina's number 21. But anytime UK and North Carolina get together, it's a big game, right, Jerry? Yeah, it's always a big game. It's it's great to, to be involved in basketball just for games like this. There's a lot of memorable games in the past, and uh, and I'm sure everybody's excited to, you know, to see those two teams on the court again. Mark, what, what about this year's game? What about North Carolina coming into this game? Well, the amazing thing for all the attention Kentucky has gotten for how poorly it shot the basketball recently, and it has been bad, 8 of 49 on three-pointers in the last four games. North Carolina is every bit as bad as Kentucky. The Tar Heels you know, come into the game shooting 28% on three-pointers. You know, Kentucky's at 27.7 you know, at the back end of this horrible stretch. So, you know, this game very easily could come down to, you know, just who can make some shots. What about, Jerry, what, what are some other factors in the game Saturday, you think? Well, one, another thing that I'm going to be looking at is rebounding. Uh, Carolina opponents are averaging 16 offensive rebounds. Butler had 29 against North Carolina. And as Mark pointed out, with all the misses, there's probably going to be a lot of <laughs> offensive rebound chances. So I'll be watching for that and the kind of a gritty toughness factor with the two teams around the basket. One thing I'm going to be watching for, uh, same thing Kentucky fans are going to be watching on Saturday, is Kentucky going to shoot the ball better, as you guys have alluded to. I don't know if North Carolina can do it, but if they don't start being more efficient offensively and running – John Calipari keeps saying 50, 60 percent. If they don't bump that up, somebody's going to get them in the near future because there's going to be some game where the other team starts hitting and Kentucky's not hitting and it comes back to bite them. Now let's let's put it on the line and do some predictions. Mark, what's your prediction for Saturday? You know, I think this game sets up really well for Carolina you know, to an extent. They come in and, you know, they're sort of off the radar, but I just don't think they're good enough to beat Kentucky in or up. I think the Cats will win, you know, eight, ten points. What about you, Jerry? Yeah, I kind of agree with Mark. I think they were, I don't want to say bored in the last game, but I think uh, there's no way they're not going to be up and excited to play North Carolina. And being here, uh, and I'm going to assume everyone's healthy, they're going to have all 10 of the two platoon players there. I'd take Kentucky, too. Yeah, I'd take Kentucky, and I, I think Kentucky will win by a pretty healthy margin. I think the fact that they played, uh, didn't have a lot of energy and were kind of flat against uh, Columbia actually works in their favor Saturday. I think they'll be ready to go. And I think North Carolina's got height, but it's not the same kind of height like you mentioned with the rebounding. I think uh, Kentucky will win by a pretty healthy margin. I think it'll be another double-digit win, which will tie right the school record for double-digit wins. Yeah, if that is a record. But, uh, <laughs> in 1946-47, they started with 10, uh, 11 straight, right. and uh, Kentucky can tie that. And it's amazing how often uh, with this year's a Kentucky team that you have to go to the record books <laughs> and find these uh, things that haven't happened in 40 or 50 years. <laughs> That's the way the season's shaped up so far anyway. Uh, be sure and check out Kentucky.com for all the coverage on the Kentucky-North Carolina game on Saturday.